Okay, so for our first um, exercise video, we are gonna do balance exercises. And we learned these from Summit Physical Therapy and we incorporate these into our gentle exercise classes here at SVT Health and Wellness. So first of all, what we wanna do is make sure that you don't fall while we're doing balancing exercises. So if you need any accommodations, let's take care of those right out of the gate. Okay, so we're gonna take our shoes off. If you, um, are in a wheelchair or walking is hard for you. We just want you to do that in a seat, all of these um, exercises in a seated position. If uh, you have balance issues, then one of the things you can do is bring a chair into a corner. So find a corner in your house where you have walls coming together. So if you fall back, you're gonna fall into the walls. If you fall forward, you fall into the chair. Okay, we don't want you falling. Okay, other than that, you can have a chair next to you that you can hold on to with a whole hand or hold on to just with a fingertip. It's amazing what happens with just a fingertip touch. Okay, so the first thing, hopefully you can see my feet here. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put one foot right in front of the other. We just want a straight line. So a side view of that is just one foot right in front of the other. We want to have really straight posture there. Okay, so one foot right in front of the other. And the idea here is to evenly distribute our weight front and back, left and right. And if you feel these little twitches on the bottom of your feet, that's good. We're waking up those muscles and those reflexes. So um, I hope you can see my feet in this video. Um, so we're not falling. Okay, so we're just going to stay like this. And ideally, you're staying like this for a minute. Okay, we're not going to do that on this video, but really try to stay in this uh, position for a minute. It's a nice way to focus in, take some breaths. Okay, then you're going to shake that out. You're going to switch your feet and even, woo, <laughs> evenly distribute front and back, left and right, feeling those little twitches on the bottom of your feet, building our muscles. We're rewiring our brain to not fall. You want to stay upright, okay? And typically we start with what's easier. So if the second one is a little more challenging, that makes sense. If it's the end of the day, that makes sense, okay? And overall, any of these tasks, if they're hard, they're kind of supposed to be not super hard, just challenging, okay? And shake that out, right? Then what we're gonna do is one foot in front of the other, put your thumb out in front, and even just touch with your fingertip uh, for some proprioceptive uh, input there. Okay, watch your thumb, but do not move your head. So we're just watching our eyes. We're gonna go side to side, up and down. Go diagonal up, diagonal down, other diagonal up. Other diagonal down and then come up and do a big circle. And when you get to the top, go the other way. When we do these in our class, we do more, but we're just gonna keep this nice and simple, okay? And then you're gonna switch and do the other side, okay? So you're gonna go side to side, and up and down. Diagonal up, diagonal down, other diagonal up, diagonal down, up to the top, do a nice big circle, Ooh. and circle the other way. All right, shake that out. A little challenging. And this is good for all ages and all abilities. So you just do it to your ability. And even kids who are very active and coordinated and all that, they can struggle with this one. So have fun with this.